Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, according to Dan Rayfield of ESPN.com, it's been reported that Terrence Bud Crawford, apparently, uh, he's going to defend his uh, title, his uh, junior welterweight titles, on May 20th. Uh, this will be taking place in um, Omaha, Nebraska, where, you know, he does sell tickets and he, you know, does good business over there. Now, the two leading candidates for him, for his, for his opponents, are uh, Antonio Orozco and, and, and Felix Diaz uh, Jr. So, with that being said, obviously, I'm, I think I can speak for, like, the majority of boxing fans when I say that, like, none of us want to see him versus Antonio Orozco. Nobody wants to see Antonio Orozco unless you, like, live in California and you care about like, Antonio Orozco. But I think the fight that has to be made is Felix Diaz versus Terrence Crawford. This is a fight that Felix Diaz has been calling for. This is a fight that uh, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of fans wanted to see him take for his last fight. when he, Instead of fighting John Molina, who was weight-drained and everybody knew was a complete mismatch for Crawford, we wanted a lot, a lot of people were calling him for him to, to, to step up and fight Felix, Felix Diaz because Felix Diaz stepped up to the challenge. Felix Diaz uh, was very, very vocal about wanting to fight Terrence Crawford. Now, with that being said, uh, it, it'd be an interesting fight because we look at like Terrence's last win, well, not last win, but one of his biggest wins of his career, which was uh, Yuki Oris Gamboa. Uh, a, a, a guy who was smaller than him, a guy who had won an Olympic gold medalist, and you know, his movement gave him a lot of problems early on, but it was the, um, the size advantage which was. Uh, the difference in the fight, ultimately. Now, Diaz, a lot of people don't know this, but at 147, because a, a lot of people in the States have only seen Diaz fight at 147 because he's fought uh, Lamont Peterson and uh, Sammy Vasquez on PBC in the States on, on network television at 147. But not, not many people have actually seen a fight at 140. And Felix Diaz at 140 and Felix Diaz at 147 is slightly different. 140, 140-pound Felix Diaz, if you guys go watch this fight with Adrian Granados, has a lot more punching power than he does at 147. So I think that factor, with that, if you factor that in, if he still has any of that power at 140, um, it, it makes it a tough fight for Crawford. So um, I would like to see Crawford fight him. Being that Felix Diaz isn't a big name, you would figure, unless he makes crazy demands, that you wouldn't be forced to pay him a, a ridiculous amount of money as an opponent. It's a very makeable fight. So like, I like Terrence Crawford and I think he's one of the best fighters in boxing, but if those are your options, if it's Antonio Orozco and Felix Diaz, and you choose Antonio Orozco, I'm cons I'm calling I'm considering that a duck because Diaz, Felix Diaz has been calling for this fight for like a year and some change now, and right now you look at the 140 pound division. Granados is fighting Broner, you know. Uh, you got Postal. We haven't heard. We BB Postal. Matisse is hasn't fought in a while. Uh, Amir and mom hasn't been active, so people will probably deem that as a cherry pick right now if you fought him. Uh, there's a lot of, there's not really too many options for Crawford at the 140 pound division unless, you know, somehow they made the Mikey Garcia fight, which I don't think would be in the cards right now. So it looks like those two guys are the most uh, viable opponents, and out of those two, Felix Diaz is the much better option. So Terrence Crawford, make the fight with Felix Diaz happen. Uh, but that, that's the news, guys. Terrence Crawford set to defend his, uh, Titles in Omaha, Nebraska, May 20th, according to top ranked promoter Bob Arum. And you know, before I, before I end, the, before I end the uh, video, let me read the quotes by Bob Arum. He said, I quote, I want to do the fight with Felix Diaz. That's the best fight for us to make. Um, Lou DeBella calls me every day about it. That's the fight I want to make. And then uh, DeBella actually had some quotes in this article too. He said, I quote, I'm about to call him again today. My guy is ready, willing, ready, willing, and able to to go to May 20th in Omaha. Will be fine with us. I know there are people within the top rank that like that fight very much, and I also know there are people within top rank that don't like that fight. That's the way it usually is with a really good competitive fight. I've been in the business a long time, and I gave Bob a good number. That's fair, and he didn't balk. I'm going to continue calling him every day until the deal is closed. So look, the bell is gonna hopefully make it happen. Am is hopefully gonna make it happen, and. Come May, we might have a, a really, really good fight on our hands. But let me know what you guys think. Terrence Carver said to defend his titles on May 20th in Omaha. They're saying Felix Diaz and Antonio Orozco are his opponents. Which one out of those two would you guys like to see? I think it's a pretty easy answer. But let me know in the comments down below. 
take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me but I'm just a kid from doing it so until next time take care guys